exercise more and you can eat more. Um, as you can see, I need something new. Yeah. Dame Edna. Cauliflower buffalo bites. Imagine drinking see. his red wine at the lodge at our Haunted <laughs> Mansion Goblet. We've not been showered or anything yet. We've just woke up and we're going down for breakfast. Gonna miss it if not, yes. So we're interested to see what breakfast is like in this Marriott compared to some of the other motels that we've had. Well, the other motels have been limited to sausage and egg and that's it. Yeah, so we're hoping for fruit, French toast, waffles, pancakes. <laughs> because we didn't have enough yesterday. Excuse that me. Stuff in Epcot. Excuse me. We had hardly anything yesterday. We shared two miniature meals and that's all we had. Apart from that ravioli when we got back last night. Mm, which was very nice actually, Link was in 250 calories. It was really nice. This hotel is massive, I keep getting lost. <laughs> keep going the wrong way, this is with breakfast room apparently. There's the pool outside which looks very inviting and is currently completely empty. Jim, yes, maybe, yes, we, don't need to see maybe we should go in there today. What's the video in? Exercise more and you can eat more. It's a simple rule. Here's the breakfast room. Wow, it's huge. What have we got? Yogurts. Yogurts and some boiled egg. Right, we've gone for eggs, turkey bacon. Uh, not turkey bacon, it's like turkey sausage. I think that was turkey bacon. Ham. Yeah, Nick's got a few um, potatoes too. I was going to get bagels, cream cheese, and re recreate a um, celebration breakfast, but. Did run out of bagels. Right, that's breakfast done. Lee's just filling his coffee up. So while we're walking back, we'll show you a little bit more of the uh, facilities in this hotel. So the breakfast area is massive. As you can see, it's got like plasma screen after plasma screen. And then around here, as Lee showed you earlier, there's a big massive gym. What a waste of space. Just as you come out of your breakfast. Yeah, that's why it's empty. One guy's in there. And then I'll round, that yeah, right. I'm sure you said that on cruise. And then round here, you've got a big laundrette for washing your pants. We've already done ours. And then the, um, the powder is in the corner. We do actually need to do some more t-shirts. It's been a while since we've done some. Kids amusement, not a massive one, but still keeps the kids entertained. And then you've got an outside pool area where there's got barbecues. I don't know whether you are free to use them or whether that's like for hosted events. And then over the other side, where the gates are over there, they've actually got a fire pit and a table, which we have said we'll go out and do that. But today, it was supposed to be a rest day and we weren't vlogging. And the first thing we did when we, when we got up, picked the camera up. Breakfast, just in case we don't do it again. It might be a vlog that spans over two days. It's yeah. not like gonna be the focus of today. We need to go and get some clothes today. Mm -hmm. Clothes shopping and I need to get a suitcase because I don't know whether we mentioned it, on the day we arrived in LA, like my suitcase, suitcase got caught in a pothole at Alamo and literally, the wheel dropped off. it fell, it ripped it off, it didn't drop off. So uh, we're off back up to the room, we've got some uh, catch up work to do, I might have another nap. And then, where are you going? I don't know. Oh, what's this though? Oh, a lounge. A little seating lounge and another TV. And Lee's uh, just running around trying to find everything. This hotel is huge, it's actually two hotels in one, I don't know whether we mentioned it or not. But, um, you found them? So yeah, there's town, town spring, town place suites and then Springfield suites, I think it was. So it's split into two. And I've got to set the air freshener in here is better than the Disney hotels. Right, we're ready. Um, showered, shaved, everything full of sun cream. Um, we're gonna head out. We're gonna have a bit of an easier day today. Um, Oh, that's the plans anyway, and you know that our plans always go wrong, so we'll probably end up in four different parks, three different areas of Florida, and all, all over the place. So um, the plan is though, just to have an easier day. Obviously we have vlogged every day on this USA road trip, and while well, we've been in Florida for two days. Um, but we are gonna vlog. Uh, we're gonna go out shopping. Um, as you can see, I need something new yet again. Those broke yesterday. <laughs> 
So, um, here's Nick. Um, I need some new sunglasses, the second pair in a week. I don't know what keeps happening to them. I do keep putting them in my pocket when I'm not wearing them, maybe that's it. Um, so, we're going to go to Walmart. We're going to go to Five Below to have a look at t-shirts. And then we're going to go, I think we're going to go to Premium Outlets, um, where I'll try and get some new sunglasses and some new t-shirts and things like that. Nick's just cleaning his teeth and then uh, we'll get off. Two bits of good news so far. One, it doesn't feel quite as warm today. It's very warm, but it's just, oh, it's nice and fresh actually compared to yesterday. You won't even have any five minutes until <laughs> it burns on you. And then the second one is I've managed to temporarily fix my sunglasses until I find some more. How? Well, I've just pushed the thing back in. It'll drop out at any moment. Right, we're on his way. We're gonna to go to five and below first. It's actually 20 to two in the afternoon. We spent the whole morning catching up, chilling. Um, I've been having to sort out my mum's back appointments because she's been chasing the wrong people and it's like, I've anyway. I've just edited the Area 51 vlog. Yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. It's out already by now. Put lots of alien kind of music in and stuff. So hope yeah. you enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, five and below, uh, five below, sorry. We're gonna go there first, Continue check out some of the t-shirts. Thank you. Uh, check out some of the t-shirts, see if they've got any news since last time we were here in April. And then, um, we're probably going to go to Walmart because I need the, as I said earlier, I need a new suitcase. Because the wheel got trapped in the Alamo curb back in um, Los Angeles. So I've been dragging around a three-wheeled suitcase for the last four weeks. I want some new Disney t-shirts. then, we're going to go to the premium outlets. Well, we thought we might go to Celebration as well because somebody oh, yeah. has mentioned that the river, or the lake, sorry, is, because of the hurricane, is so far up that it's over the uh, steps. The so rocking we'll chairs. Have a look. Yeah, so we're going to have a mooch there and then we'll go to Premium Outlets. But I want to go to the one at the top of I Drive. I don't want to go to Vineland because it's, it's, there's more choice up at um, up the top end. Maybe we'll have a lunch at Celebration. Oh, I, was, I thought you were going to say, we'll have lunch and we'll have orange chicken. Yeah, oh, fancy lunch at Celebration. Okay. We, we, usually have, we usually go for breakfast, so we'll, we'll mix it up a bit. And Lee's driving for a bit now because I've done like almost 5,000 miles driving, so I'm having a bit of a break from it. Right, so we set the sat now for five in below, and it's just literally navigated us to, to this one here. Brand new one for us. And there's a Ross next door, which Barry's said um, you can get some quite bargain clothes in there, although it's a bit like TK Maxx, you've got to hunt around. So let's go in and see if we can find any new uh, designs. Perfect, these can distract Lee while I go and see what they've got and I get first choice. Oh, I'm going, I'm Bye. Going to Bye. He's got distracted with Halloween stuff now. Thing is, when we go clothes shopping, if I find something, Lee always says he wants to get in there first, so then I can't have it. I got two. What the frig? Eh? Have I picked that one up as well? I thought we are going to like this one. Is that a woman's? <laughs> What's wrong with it? That can't be medium. It's like one of those where your belly sticks out and you certainly don't want it in your belly Well, let's check this one. Right, so the stock levels here are pretty low, so we're going to go to the other five in below that's near to Lake Buena Vista Outlets, once I can drag him away from these shades. Yeah. Dame Edna. He's found a pair, but I'm not keen on brown sunglasses. He look like Deirdre Barlow in them. These would be better. Like what do you mean teenagers? no? Look, make you look a bit younger. We have two potentials. Hideous. Absolutely hideous. I don't mind them. Uh, a fibre a pair? Why I'm, don't you just get the pair of them? Well, I might get both. And then, you, then you've got to try, well yeah, because you'll sit on them and break a pair, what so about, at least they'll last you two weeks. What about John Lennon? No. No. He's boring me trying them on, so while he's doing that, I'll have a look at some of the Halloween stuff. So you've got little mini pumpkins, little plastic ones. Some uh, orange fairy lights. The range is not massive yet, I don't know whether they've sold out or whether they're just still getting it in. You can see this is what they've got. We're actually going to go at some point down to uh, Celebration and look at some of the decorations on a night. We're going to go to that same street that we went to on our Christmas vlogs where they do all the uh, seasonal decorations. So they do it for Christmas, but they also do it for Halloween as well, apparently. In the Halloween section, they've actually got some Halloween t-shirts. So if you're going to go to one of the uh, Halloween parties, then um, well, maybe grab fun. something like that, like the skeleton one. I actually remember getting my uh, Halloween t-shirt from here, the Captain Hook mm, one, didn't I? That feels like a nice one. Yeah, so you've got Ouija. Ouija board and a t-shirt, not sure I'd want that. And then you've got Skeleton, Celestial, uh, not much in that range. And then on the other side of here, not sure that these are Halloween. No, they're not. Apart from a little bit spooky. Yeah, but the medium was like, it felt like there was plastic in the shoulder. You didn't try the medium on in that particular one. 
That looks all right. Don't need large. Um, stick your belly out properly. Like Stop sucking it properly. in. <laughs> Turn to the side then. Uh, no, well, you'll have to try a large on, but I think but it's all right. Five, five Below is a good shop if you like your um, video game stuff. Got all your like your Switch accessories, PS4 accessories, tablet accessories, and all sorts of stuff. Right, so like, like I said in there, we were going to head to uh, Gita Bend, which is the street on Celebration that does all the seasonal lights, but they're not open at the moment, they haven't started it, it starts on the 15th of October. Uh, but we are going to be here around that time, so we will go later on, it just means that the vlogs will actually go out after Halloween, but um, it's still nice for us to see. For goodness sake, slow down. Even if you get one that you like, I'll just get it anyway. Right, the um, the t-shirts that they had here, they had even less stock as the other one and I tried on the one that I'd, that I'd tried that didn't fit and it's, it basically wasn't suitable. So it's similar Halloween um, merch in the same layout, but there's a lot more stock here. Very similar to the other one, but a lot more choice. No one needs three pairs of glasses. We've got a lot more stock here. No. Five dollars, the proper... No, um, you can't go wrong, especially if you're going to scratch them around and chuck them around no, and put them in your pocket and stuff. Which I always think that would be good for like Halloween Horror Nights or something. Oh yeah, it's like looking through a quality street wrapper though. Right, Five Below has been very disappointing this trip. We've only got one t-shirt, the stock's pretty poor and there's not much other design that I, that I really like. Been alright for me, I've got two pairs of lights. Well, that's bad from that, yeah. So we're going to head now down to Celebration. We were going to go to the Downtown Diner, but they, they close for uh, breakfast and lunch. At breakfast and dinner at 2pm and they're not open for evening meals, so okay. that's off the cards. So, however, um, we're going to try going to the tavern, which is next door. We've tried to get in there before. Do you know where you're going? Yeah. Uh, we've tried to get in there before uh, when we came in April, and we were waiting for an hour for a table, and in the end we went to the Mexican over the road. But they, the tavern is open at 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. So we're going to head there, grab something to eat and drink, and then we're going to head to Walmart to see if I can get myself a suitcase. Take a left. Take a left. Go down that way. What do you mean? I'm overriding Google. Oh, it's taking you this way anyway. Duh. Right. Where do you fancy? Do you fancy Joel's Crab Shack? Mm. That'd be a no, then. Use I don't the left know. two lanes to turn left. Cold Stones? No, we're going to the tavern at Celebration. I meant as well. No. Just driving through Celebrations, looking out for Halloween decorations. Maybe a little bit early, even though we did see a couple on Bazza Street, actually, the other night. It reminds me of being back in the garden district in New Orleans. Without the guns. So far, I've not spotted any. But uh, as I said, Gita Bend doesn't open until the 15th of October. So I would imagine the whole In town kind of, of mile, comes to life and does it at that point. Here we go. I remember seeing that years ago when we came with Sazzle. Loads and loads of pumpkins piled up. Is this the church that had all the um, yeah, no. Christmas decorations there? Yeah, it is. It's Todd Barber. Yeah. But we don't need a day cutting today. No, we'll cut us home now this trip. Right, we've parked up just straight across from the entrance to Market. Is it Market Street that? Um, well, it's basically the entrance into the uh, the main town area. We've just parked literally straight across. You can always get a space here, and if it's not here, you can either get on the other side down yeah, there, or just park. further down here. Or sometimes on that street just there, in front, in front of, of the barbers. barbers yeah. yeah, you can actually get you can actually park straight on the main street, right on the lake as well. Right, let's have a mooch down and see whether this water level's still high. So we're just walking down the main street in celebration and again there's no Halloween decorations here. However, it is the first week of October, so um, probably a little bit early. Lee wants to go in a shop. Ooh. Which one? Gypsy Moon? Should we get food first? Yeah, I'm shop. starving. Come on. The water levels have receded back to normal. There was a picture on our Facebook group where the water was actually up to the bottom of this step and these these parasols were literally just plonked in the water. Well. But it yeah. must must have receded. Can't say no to a rocking chair when well, got one. Why not? However, look at the water level, it is quite high. It's not usually up to that, it's usually one of the steps down there. Ah, uh, Something smells nice, like like smoky barbecue. Yeah, well, we're good at diner anymore. Okay. So I know not everybody gets a chance to come to Celebration more than once when they're on their holidays. Sundays is a good day to come down because you get the market but it is quite busy, so you have to wait for, you know, if you're gonna to go to the, the downtown dining, you gotta wait for a table sometimes. But Sunday is a good day, because the market is hustling and bustling. It's all down the main street, you may have seen on our vlog before. And it has some amazing food yeah, as well. it goes all the way around there. So if you can, come on a Sunday, but... Today's if, Monday, so forget that. If you like it more just chilled, today's Monday, and it's just 
Is that anybody nobody here? here? It's just beautiful, just to relax for a bit. Tavern's definitely open. Yep, so uh, we'll show you the tavern. Fingers crossed this time, we've never been in all this time. So we are in the Celebration Town Tavern. It's quite nice inside, actually. I just went to the restroom and it's, it's like a, well, a tavern, basically. It's like a pub in there. It's it, we should come here one night and have a drink. We tried. We'll come one night with the Bazas and have a drink. We tried. In the town tavern. We the Mexican over yeah. there because it was so busy. So um, we have here the menu. So I'll just show you quickly. It's kind of wicky good soups. Um, starters, potato skins, buffalo shrimps. A lot of choices. Lots of salads there. A lot of seafood, as it is a um, kind of a seafoody place. Uh, Boston favourites, fish and chips, marine lobster, main lobster, I should say. And oh, I didn't even look on back. Sandwiches. Oh, missed out now. Burgers, desserts. Off Ooh, the give really chocolate fudge brown sundae. Off the lantern, will be all chicken things. Chicken and steak. Yeah, and so then, there's a lot of choice here. Check out that list of beers. Oh, wow. There's thousands. There it is. And then, 51 different types of beer. You count them? No, just, there's numbers. Ah, right, out. okay. Um, so I think they're all bottles, and then those are the drafts. And then you've got your seltzers, which are very new to us. You don't get seltzers in the UK, do you? Well, maybe. And then some on the back. You basically have your wines and things. Cocktails. I just ordered a mango freeze. So mm -hmm. I won't be driving today. Yay! So tavern coach, not bad prices. Mojitos eleven dollars. Moscow mules ten dollars. Margaritas for ten dollars. That's Christmas favorite, isn't it? Moscow mule. I don't know. It is. Hot coffee. And um, here we go for our drinks. I've just tried it before, Nick. It's very nice. Mm. Very nice. Very refreshing, actually. I don't yeah. think there's any Bacardi I'm just saying, it's not very alcoholic, but it's very nice. It's like a smoothie, basically, isn't it? Like a mango smoothie. It's like the um, margaritas in um, Epcot. Yeah. Right, our food's here. So we're sharing a summer street salad. I don't know what that vinaigrette is. A raspberry. It looks like raspberry, yeah? It is, it is. And then we're also having some um, cauliflower buffalo bites instead of chicken. So we're just about to say we've gone to completely vegan, apart from the massive bit of chicken that's there on the top. Well, you could have the chicken was optional. It's and the then there's this kind of cornbread. That's, type I think, thing. What, that's what we had at World of Coffee yesterday, something similar. Yeah. Like a, well, you might get cornbread type thing, isn't it? Let me yeah. try it. Just tastes like a bun. Mm. Right, let's get this shed out. We've got to make these at home. They're amazing. I tried the air fryer and dried them. Oh, well, it doesn't know, but I try that. It, I think the problem was they, um, I needed to partially cook them before I air fried them. Let me just dip it in the. Uh, the obviously, ranch. we usually get chicken buffalo wings. Yeah. So, this is the first for us, the cauliflower ones, but they taste so good. This is Nick's first try. Oh my god. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Mm. Right, what did you think to that? I enjoyed it actually. The, I thought buffalo yeah. and cauliflower bites were beautiful. I, I could have them as a main meal actually. Yeah. I could come back and have maybe two starters as main as done as a main. The salad was nice too. Actually. I think at some point before we leave, we will definitely come back and have that as 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 a meal. I think because they were absolutely amazing, and because it's cauliflower, it's really really light in calories as well. Right, we'll just have a quick look in this shop around here, and then we're heading to Walmart. To get a suitcase. Oh, suitcase. suitcase. And I want to see if I can get some Disney T-shirts. We might not have time to go to premium outlets. It's getting quite late well, in the day. Oh, well, we'll just see. It's the shop that's always got Christmas things in, but uh, at the moment they've got loads of Halloween stuff. Oh yeah, village ghost office. Yeah, you just what don't get it? you just don't get these in the UK. No, yeah. not really. Halloween's not quite as big as it is in the UK. Um, this is nice. What's in there? Little baubles. What is that? Like a. Oh, it's like a. Oh, Ouija it's board. Like a Ouija board. Yeah. Where you careful with that. Around. Careful with that. Oh, look, oh, right. look at it. It's got a magnet watch. Oh, sorry. It kind of. What? So it jumps around. Look at that. It's Mickey Manor. Is it? No, I like that. Are you sure? Yeah, it says, it says that it? Mickey Manor. Mm. Mickey, Mickey Mouse's like, haunted little house. Look at these. Yeah. Yeah. I had the hard time. Like Minnie's oh, witch hat. Look at they've got, they've got Mickey's house and Minnie's house. How much of them? Let's have a look at the bottom. No, I have the, the, the Mickey and Minnie. No, no, these? Are they? I don't know what they are. No. It is official Disney, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I like these. Oh, tw well, that one's 34 now, so I presume that one's going to be as well. Yeah. 
on a Christmas tree as well with the Halloween um, on top. It's no price. No, it has. It's just thirty something. Little um, pumpkin bag. They always seem to have some really funky um, sort of like lounge flies in here, don't they? Focus Very focus. Focus focus. Sanderson sisters. And these are all like the, um, the oh, villains. Yeah. Focus focus. Look. It's just a bunch of focus focus. These are all the villains bags and then look at that one's got like a little, little bit of look on the camera yeah it does 3 effect oh my god I love that it's like we saw in um, <laughs> Whitby Abbey isn't it yeah like the but goblet the haunted mansion oh I'd love to bring my red oh, why do they have prices on I think it has it's just peeled off uh, imagine drinking his red wine at the lodge at our <laughs> haunted mansion goblet get it we'll have to see how much it is first do like that Tons of different uh, lounge fly bags and um, purses in here. Looks like they always seem to have like oh, it is. A little more unique ones that you may this not see everywhere else. This is probably the stuff that's been in Disney at some point yeah, and then gone and it's just like the leftovers. Look at the furry bag. That actually, that's the first one I've seen that is kind of big enough that I would use. I wonder how much that is because it's a bigger one. Let's have a look. Well, actually, $80. That would have been 200 inches yeah. that, easily. Look at this. <laughs> Pumpkin. Pumpkin bag, $80. Is that a lounge fly? Oh yeah, it's got a uh, lounge fly yeah. outside. Yeah. Now I know everybody will be gobsmacked. <laughs> I'm gobsmacked. <laughs> because I always say, I like this merch, I like that merch, I like this merch. And I never buy anything, but I wanted to treat myself. So I've got it. And I'm not going to just keep it for best, I'm going to drink my red wine in it in the lodge. I love that. It was $45. I didn't think we're bad at all, to be fair. So I probably will put it on the shelf at the lodge. Oh no, don't, don't <laughs> tackle we'll the see. lodge decor. But I am going to be drinking my red wine. It's the Haunted Mansion Disney Showcase Collection. I'm not sure whether they've got it in Magic Kingdom or not, but um, I wanted to get it. Just well, if they have, we ain't buying it. Not now. Right, I need a bit of a lay down now. Why? Can't get over the pack of spent $43, 43 pound, was well, $48 including tax, £43 pound on a goblet, which basically, you, I mean, you don't even bloody drink wine. I'll do it in the winter. Well, I'll be drinking it and making use of that sodding <laughs> cup. I love it, I'm, right. Right. I'm very giddy about that. Uh, we're off to Walmart now. I, I desperately need a new suitcase, and we've just been saying if we get any extra stuff that we that we pick up over here, um, like we can use my case to fill it up with like the stuff that we're taking back. Because um, we are flying back in Upper, so we've got two yeah. cases each. Well, if you remember the Facebook post, if you follow us on Facebook, if not, then check us out. Um, the Lodge Guys Orlando group. We got uh, an Upper upgrade for basically about 120 quid each, um, which was fantastic. Was it 120 quid each or both? I can't remember. 120 quid each, I think, uh, for Upper and a load of miles. So oh, Look what they're doing here. Oh, is that Jack Skellington? Uh, no, it's just a skeleton. Oh, they've actually created a full graveyard. In there, and there's bloody hell, there's loads of graves and all. Look at all the ghosts in the tree. They're starting, they're starting. <laughs> Never get over the fact that when you drive through Celebration, you see this as you're driving out on the right hand side, and it looks like a big holiday resort. It's actually a hospital. It's absolutely like nothing like we have in the UK. It doesn't even look clinical at all. It just looks like some big resort. Ramada Gateway. We stayed there in... January. Was it? Yeah. Was it January that? Yeah. Are you sure? Of course. Well, I think so. <laughs> I think well, you were April. Why the hell would it be? Why would we stay in that in April? Uh, Good point. Uh, really nice hotel, actually, really cheap. It's a Wyndham hotel. Um, so if you use abnsave.com, you can actually get a discount from staying there, 15% off. The price of petrol is really cheap here, isn't it? The price of petrol is insane. That is actually a dollar and eight cents cheaper than it was in April. Yeah. 292, it was 405 in April. So our favorite Walmart is the one on Old Lake Wilson Road, which is literally about a mile south of Animal Kingdom on um, the 192. May have to disagree with you there. What? My favourite Walmart is the original Walmart. That the first 
one we ever came to in 2000. What was that Walmart called? Uh, that was the one next to Medieval Times. Yes. East, uh, well, west, uh, east down I the uh, 192. I think that one's a better Walmart. Although I don't Only because it holds memories, that's no, no, why. No, this I is bigger. bigger. Oh, do you think so? Oh, this is twice as big. I don't know, I wouldn't have thought so. Come on, get us in. So, first stop is suitcases. Then I want to have a little uh, mooch at their clothes. See if I can get anything for Halloween and Disney. Yeah, I want something, just something like that, so I can wear it on an evening. I'm getting that for my glasses so they don't get marked in the car, my spare um, set. Three piece set. There's not price, but it's perfect. Um, what are you going to do with all the other bits though? I don't know. Mrs. Bazus needs one. She doesn't need a massive one. Well, I don't know. We could split it. You have to find the uh, the prices. Hmm. Oh, well, what? 20 and... It's not massively... Um, is it sturdy enough? Yeah, it's only the same as a normal one. Right, we find out it's $97, but that's for the big case and then inside there's a hand Another luggage one. case which is massive and then a rucksack and then a, well you need to make sure that it's inside there well there should be a rucksack in there as well this one expands as well that's a well big hand luggage case you have to make sure it's not too big uh, well it might be but it's fine is there a is there another bag inside yeah perfect but and this one also expands yeah not bad and I know everybody's going to think I'm nuts, because Nick already does, but I've just found these for $13. I thought that before you got the glasses. They look exactly like the ones that, my, my proper ones that broke, so uh, I'm getting them with that case. I've put, right, I'm just going to put, message uh, in. Just been chatting to some lovely lodgers from Scotland. If you're watching, guys, hello. hello. Thanks for saying hello. Nick's still deciding what he's going to do about this. Mrs. Ooh, somebody's screaming. Mrs. Baza needs a big one as well, so um, she needs bigger than the smaller one. <laughs> I was going to say something sarcastic there, but I won't bother. <laughs> um, it, we do, we, well, we're just designing because we, we don't go, need three. We don't need the things inside, so let's go and have a look at Target instead. On, right, we're now trying shoes on in Walmart. I bet you do it. <laughs> I came and saw these, and then Nick goes, well, they're nice. I'll try them on as well. Excuse me, you've not even got them on because your feet yet, and I'm, I'm These fully, were brand new sorted. when I came, and because we've been walking around canyons and all sorts, look at the state of them. I'll have to wash them when I get home. But for these, just for walking around parks, yeah, but for fourteen ninety nine, they're really you just wear comfortable. Them while you're here and bin them. $14.98. Yeah, but I don't like bin things. Um, so I'll wear them. $14.98. Perfect for walking around the parks and they look shiny oh, white. Me too. Me. me too. Friggin' love Walmart. $13 and they just slip on and they've got memory foam. Again, perfect for walking around the parks. I'm gonna get them. I know everybody knows that Walmart is great for um, Disney stuff, but I just thought I'd show you while we're here. If you can resist buying it from the Disney places, you can get you know, kids' hats for $12, um, all these like women's pajamas, sets or stitch. The girls would love them. I just don't know what size and stuff they need. And the proper Disney. Um, I don't know. And then men's um, pajama sets as well. That's unusual because in Primark at home you don't get... You don't, no, you don't get many um, men's Disney stuff in Primark at home or, yeah. or Asda. So it's nice to see here. Big saggy boxes. Yeah. Nick's found a t-shirt he likes. I like it. That's made it. That was alright, but that's made it. $14.90. I have seen one that's for the Flash, but they haven't got it in my size. I'm off to try these on. Still in Florida, don't care how many bags you take. Got one item, put it in a bag. Got another item, put it in another bag. $90 for three pairs of trainers, one set of sunglasses, two sunglasses cases, and one Disney t-shirt. I don't think you can moan at that. Right, so I just got, because I paid on Curve Card, it actually texts you straight away, and it just sent me a message saying that that lot actually cost 81 pound in, uh, in pounds. So, um, We're also not bad. Three pairs of trainers, God knows what else, literally just reeled off. Not often I treat myself to things. Um, we were just saying, if only the uh, exchange rate was the same as it was in 2000 when we first came, that would have been about 40 quid all that lot. Well, yeah, we'd have walked away with, I mean, the entire trip would have been half the price. Got my glasses back. Which glasses? Well, are they the I same ones that you had before? Three pairs to choose from in cases so they don't get. Broken. Can I just say on record for now, by the time we leave this trip, at least one pair of them will be broke. 
and we've not finished shopping yet because I'm going to go to Target now because Nick didn't get those suitcases. We're going to have a look at Target, see if they've got any. And then I think I've had enough shopping. So as you come out of this Walmart, this is the Magic a Tree Resort, which is where we thought we were, we were going to be staying the other night until the sat-nav took us to the Magic Key. Because it always looks like a, a decentish motel here and it gets pretty good reviews. Yeah, we thought we booked that and then we're like... Yeah, yeah. we got there and we're like, Ooh, this is not what I thought. It was all right though. Right, just heading down the 192. We're going to call it Target, as we said, on the left. And then uh, our friend Michael's just texted and said he's home. Uh, we were going to call yesterday, but um, we didn't have time. We're going to call into his house and see him because we haven't seen him since April. Hope they have a nice cup of tea. Well, yeah. Right, the last shopping um, store today, Target. See if Nick can get a uh, suitcase. I like that black top. I just did, I wish it didn't say family vacation. Only $12.99 as well, I like that. See if I can find anything uh, similar. So Target always has a, uh, a decent range as well of Disney stuff. How much here? <laughs> a bit the same price, I imagine. Cheaper. Is it? Yeah. No way. Thirteen ninety nine. A dollar cheaper. Fourteen ninety seven. I paid. I just want a couple of uh, quite like that actually. Jack. Just, oh, that worked. I tried that on in Target and uh, Walmart, but I didn't like it. I get always have a range of graphic T-shirts as well. Twelve ninety nine here. Um, all sorts of stuff: Star Wars, Disney, MTV, Harry Potter's, Captain America, and they've got the Christmas stuff in as well: Simpsons, Darth Vader, Home Alone. Final purchase of the day, I'm getting a shirt because I'm meeting some friends tomorrow night, so I thought it'd be nice. I, I went into the change rooms, Nick had gone to look at his suitcases. I texted him, I said, can you come and have a quick look at this shirt in the fitting rooms? He goes, I'm on my way. I opened it up, he had the exact same shirt on. He came out <laughs> of the other fitting rooms. Room. <laughs> it didn't fit Nick though. It fits me though. Right, we've just spent the better part of two hours yeah. with Michael. Look at, so, looking at some of his um, Disney memorabilia that he got because he used to work for Disney years ago and um, we were looking at maps of Disneyland Paris of what it looked like and at Epcot um, the original concepts the, uh, the world showcase piece uh, countries were actually going to be contained buildings in you know, like a circle and he got loads of he's got so much stuff it's like you could you could be there for years and still not see it all so um, it's pretty late now well it's not pretty late it's 10 past 8 which is pretty late um, we just fancy, instead of going to um, one of the parks, which we're going to do, we're just going to call for a Panda Express and then go back to our hotel and I think there's a fire pit around the pool, we're just going to sit outside and just scoff it and then maybe have an early night and then tomorrow we haven't decided which park we're going to go to but whatever we can get a reservation for we're going to go tomorrow. We'll have a park day and then we're going to yeah. end the evening tomorrow at um... Wine Bar George. Yes. Right here we are, this was the closest one on the 192, straight across from um, Margaritaville and um, Island H2O, the water park. So we've just been discussing what we're having. Lee's having a healthy broccoli and black bean and I'm having orange chicken and fried rice. I'm gonna go for black pepper Angus steak. That's what I had last time and it was beautiful. I don't know what that is but it looks nice. You can now get the orange chicken with Beyond meat. Yeah. Well, I know, I don't like orange chicken at all. Look at us coming back with the hall. Hall? Yeah. It's a bloody massive hall. It's not like us though to have to go out on a big shopping spree. We've never ever gone out in Florida and stayed out the entire day shopping. No. And we haven't even gone to premium outlets yet. No. So we're gonna eat as uh, Chinese and I'll show you the haul that we've got. This is my new favorite, which I got in April from Panda Express. Black Angus um, peppered steak with mixed vegetables. Um, so we've got um, broccoli and sort of peppers and onions and things. Nick's gone for the Old Faithful. I haven't actually. Well. I've got chow mein with some orange chicken chunks. I yeah. usually get fried rice. Do some soy sauce? Um, yeah. Right, we've just had our um, Chinese, I'm still hungry. Me um, too. <laughs> Me too. I, I'm gonna show you a haul rather than waiting to get home to do it and then do a, a Florida haul like a lot of bloggers do. I'm just gonna show you now. Um, so you obviously you have seen it as you were, were if you've watched this vlog, but I'm just going to show you anyway. Um, yes, yeah, a summary of what we got. Um, when we went to Michael's, bless his heart, he'd got Nick this red uh, Pizza Planet T-shirt because he knew Nick couldn't get it last time. 
Um, so it's a good job we didn't get it in Epcot yesterday. So bless Michael, and he also um, got us this T-shirt, which apparently is what was that called? Mickey One or Disney One? Uh, which was Walt Play. Walt Play. One, maybe he said, um, is um, Disney's was Walt Disney's plane when he flew over Florida to scout out where he wanted to put Walt Disney World. Is that the um, same plane that's now parked in a parking lot? No, they did it all up and they, they put it in D23. Yeah. Um, so this is a shirt that I got in um, Target that was, I'll tell you how the price is, $19.99. Apologies for the bad lighting in here. There's no lights on the roof. Um, that was $19.99. I got that because I'm going out with some friends tomorrow night. Um, Disney Springs thought I'd wear that. Nick got this in five below. It's way too peoply outside. So that was $5, I presume. Yep, $5. Yeah. Um, we both got the same um, trainers because we both each. liked them. $14 each. I mean, you can't go wrong with them from going around parks. Even if they just last longer, they're still worth They're really um, decent as well. As you saw, <laughs> I ended up getting three pairs of glasses. I really liked those. Um, and then I got, I saw those, they were, they were only $5 each. And then I went into um, Walmart and saw ones that were just like the original ones that broke. Um, they were $13. And then I got a couple of cases, I should have got three. I don't know why I got two. Um, they were $4.98, I think. Um, the Nick shoes, which are like mine. My Disney, um, what do you call them? You got some wine? We got wine. Yeah? No, I don't want any to be honest tonight. I'm... Well, what's the point in buying that then? Well, it's for back at the lodge when I'm having my wine at the lodge. I don't want it tonight. Um, my, uh, then I'll use it. No, well, it no chance. Why? You know, blue, blue moon in my new, um, what do you call them? I'm tired and I forgot. Goblet. goblet, that's what it is. $45 from the um, shop in Celebration. Then I got these, which were $13. I didn't realize until I tried them on, because it obviously looks like they've got laces. They don't have laces, they just slip on, so they're so comfortable and easy. Um, those are for the girls, um, amongst many things that I'm probably going to buy them. Um, the last time I saw them, they wanted some pens for their um, iPad. These are our favourite um, chewing gums over here. The Polar Ice Wrigley's Extra. It tastes like it's root beer. Root beer. It's not ice. It just tastes like root beer. So I've got some. I might get another back box of them. Actually, it's like a hard plastic um, mega batch of it. And then Nick's T-shirt, which he got from Walmart, which that's the front of it. That was. How much was that? $14.97. $14.97. So, it's there actually we go. Felt, because we've been out all day, it's actually felt like we've bought nothing. Eh? I've seen it. it, it bought loads? Yeah, you have. I've bought a t-shirt, that's it. I am, right? And a pair of shoes. T-shirt, t-shirt, shoes. And then t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. Well, so. it just felt like we haven't bought anything. Because it's been frustrating having to go from shop to shop. Couldn't get a suitcase. I wanted this shirt, I really wanted it. Medium looked like I was shrink wrapped, the large looked like I was wrapped in bedding. Oh well. And uh, so there you go. So we hope you have enjoyed our relaxing day in Florida. It's very rare that me and Nick have just relaxing chill days and we said yesterday, let's just have a chill day. Let's not go to any parks. Let's not do anything particularly exciting for the vlogs. Let's like just leaving at, leaving at two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, we didn't get out until two in the afternoon. Never done that. No, we, well, just we have some catch-ups to do. We have a bit of jet lag from driving. <laughs> we you have an early night. I don't even know what time it is. When you think about it though, coming back from west to east, you do get jet lag. And we've, we, we, true. I'm not when we drove from New Orleans to Orlando, we, we, it was like driving one hour closer to home. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sure we all have these days where we just have a chill and we go on shopping and stuff like that. So it's um, very relatable to everybody that comes to Florida. We can't do Florida and do 40 <laughs> days of parks. I know we some people do. have to do that because it's it's like they come that infrequent that they have to use their tickets and maximize the ticket cost. But speaking of a park, we are going in the next vlog. Probably Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. Um, well, we are, because that's And we're going out with some friends in Disney Springs tomorrow night. And then on Wednesday, as long as all those plans, we're going to meet Jackie and Richard, our, our uh, neighbors from the lodge, um, because they were over here in Florida at the they moment. They were going to go to Clearwater, but because of the hurricane mm -hmm. that was last week, yeah. it's um, got cancelled. It so canceled. We're, we've got a chance to go and see them. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. And um, we'll see you on the next vlog where we should be in Magic Kingdom. Bye. Bye.